Alright, alright. Hello everyone and welcome back to Late Night Beats. In this week's episode I'd like to show you how I control my mono machine with the Octatrack to achieve this weird and insane breakbeat. Let's get right into it. This video is the first in my new series called Octatrack Plus in which I'm going to pair the Octatrack with different instruments to demonstrate its capacity as a sequencer. In this video we're going to use the Mono Machine, which I really like and I'm really happy that I got it back. We're going to use the Arpeggiator on the Octatrack to control the Beatbox Machine on the Mono Machine to create this interesting breakbeat. What's important, this trick is going to work on all drum machines that have different sounds on different MIDI notes, which is a lot of them really. So first of all, I need a kick drum. The tempo is 124 and the beat is 4 on the floor. Now I need to go to my MIDI settings and I'm going to go to track 5, which is set to MIDI channel 1, which controls track 1 on the mono machine. You can clearly hear that the keyboard works. So now I'm going to go to my mono machine setup and I'm going to assign a beatbox machine from DigiPro in here into my track one. Here we go. So now the keyboard should control the sounds of the drums. So now what I need to do is select the sounds that I like from the mono machine. I like these two, this one, and the snare drum. Now that everything is set up, we can go ahead and add a random mode to the arpeggiator to create some variation. And here's what it sounds like. And with the beat. Okay, so you can see in here that I have my scale setup set to 32 steps. And the reason why I have it set up like that is that it helps me introduce some variety into this pattern. What I'm going to do is on the first 16 steps, I'm going to have three sounds. And on the second 16, I'm going to have four sounds with the added snare drum. I'm actually going to record it live. Success. So this worked, I have three sounds in here and then four sounds in here. So this already sounds pretty good, but I want to introduce a little bit more variety into this and I'm going to use trick conditions to achieve that. I want to play a little bit with the retrigger function that's located in the synthesis page of my beatbox machine. but I want this to be controlled by a trick condition. Of course, the mono machine doesn't have trick conditions, so I need to control it from the Octatrack. In order to do that, I need to go to my Control 1 page and activate CC1. I do that by pressing Function and the C knob in here, and now it works. And now I need to assign a correct CC number to the CC1 parameter. I double tap on this, and then I need to select the right number. I'm going to find the correct number in the MIDI implementation chart for the mono machine. I have it printed in here. And it says that synth parameter 5 is 52. We can clearly see that this is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to go to 52 in here and then press enter or press the knob to accept that. Now, the CC1 knob should control the retrigger function. And you can clearly see that it's happening in here. So now, what I want to do is assign a trigless trig in here by pressing function and trig and then P-locking a value, let's say 20 or 20 something. And now of course, I want to add a trick condition to that. Let's say it's a probability of, what, 19%. To make sure everything is tight, I'm going to actually P-lock the zero value to the actual trigs. And maybe to introduce a little bit more variety, I'm going to copy this trig and put it in here, but 
on the 13th step to just make it a little bit more unusual. And now for the final component, we're going to add some saturation. So that's the patch. I think it's kind of wild and I really, really like it. Of course, you can introduce more variety by changing the modes on the arpeggiator, changing the rhythm, changing the length of your pattern and so on. There are many options in here, but that's your starting point to get going with arpeggiators controlling drum machines. Let me know in the comments if you like this solution and also if you know any other cool tricks to control drum machines with the Octatrack. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing to stay up to date with more tutorials, more jams and more opinions. Follow me on Instagram at Lake Night Beats for more regular updates and also consider following me on SoundCloud where I post all the jams that are here on the channel. That will be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great night and take care.